The United States of America is the most diverse nation in the world, and it is not even close. Before you disagree, I encourage you to watch the full video as I will be discussing this as well as some valid counter-arguments. This video will mainly focus on the ethnic and geographical ranges across this country and its territories. To start, America has over 40 million people currently living in it that were born in a different country. To put that into perspective, America has more people currently living in it that were born somewhere else than the entire population of over 170 countries. Now, America has an enormous population, so there are certainly countries with a larger percentage of foreign-born people, but just off of gross numbers alone, there are zero countries with more foreign-born people. On top of this, every single person born in America who does not have Native American roots is the descendant of an immigrant at some point in time. On top of this, the Native Americans are not one group of people. There are over 570 federally recognized tribes in America as of January 2024. While many Americans are fluent in English, it is important to realize that most Native Americans have distinct languages. 67 million people in America are bilingual, and 42 million Americans speak Spanish as a first language. While it is certainly true that America, a large homogenous language of English, there is actually no official language or religion of the United States. I think a lot of the confusion stems from the way America calculates its demographics. For instance, the white population is actually a mixture of dozens of different countries, yet most are classified as just white. Same thing with almost every demographic of the U.S. population. Before I continue, I would like to state that countries such as India have an extremely diverse population as well, with over 700 distinct tribes and hundreds of languages. But when you really look into it, you may realize how few people in India are actually from entirely different parts of the world. For instance, there are only 300,000 people in India that have African origin, which is about 0.2% of their population. To put that into perspective, Chicago alone has over double that amount. Another country people like to claim is more diverse than America is China, which I find borderline laughable. Like India, China is by no means a homogenous nation. It has many distinct cultures, traditions, foods, lifestyles, and religions. It is true that China is extremely diverse, but it does not hold a candle to America. For starters, many people in China have not met someone outside of China. There are many instances of black people visiting China who will be approached by locals who touch their skin or hair. This is because there are people in China who have literally never once seen a black person. A country can be diverse among its own citizens, but how can people claim a country is diverse when many of its citizens have legitimately never seen a person with black skin? Now, just because America is a diverse nation does not mean everyone is accepting of this. There are some Americans who dislike when foreigners speak their languages or are outwardly racist towards certain people. But for the most part, every person in America has encountered someone from all parts of the globe. China has over a billion people, with only around one million of them being foreign-born, which means less than 0.1% of their population was not born in China. Just New York City alone has four times that amount of foreign-born people. Another contender for the most diverse country would be Canada, especially areas like Toronto. Disregarding the fact that America has nearly 10 times as many people as Canada, it is true that Canada has a broad range of ethnicities among its population. Canada has 8 million immigrants currently, and almost 1 million of those are from the United States and United Kingdom. Many people living in Canada were born in China and India, but most of these people reside in or around Toronto. Now, a good argument is that Toronto is one of the most diverse cities in the world, which I agree with. But again, once you look into it a bit more, you can see how this information gets misunderstood. For starters, Toronto city limits have just under 3 million people. The surrounding metro area of Toronto is under 7 million, meaning that even combining the suburbs with the city, it still has less people in it than New York City. While we are on the topic of New York, it is important to realize the scale of just this one city. New York has more Jewish people living in it than any city in the world, more than Jerusalem and Tel Aviv combined. Queens, just one of the five boroughs of New York, has the most Tibetan people outside of Asia. New York has the largest Chinese population of any city outside Asia as well. The 10 largest sources of foreign-born individuals in NYC as of 2011 were the Dominican Republic, China, Mexico, Guyana, Jamaica, Ecuador, Haiti, India, 
Russia, and Trinidad and Tobago. Please let me know in the comments if there are any towns in India or China with significant Haitian and Mexican enclaves. Outside of New York, the country is still extremely diverse. I can't go into the specifics of every single different group of people living in America, so I will highlight a few unique ones. In just Minnesota, 87,000 people are from Somalia, and estimates of up to 150,000 throughout the country. The second largest Hindu temple in the world is in New Jersey. There are more people in America with Norwegian ancestry than all of Norway. Michigan has 36,000 people of Iraqi descent, while the whole U.S. has nearly 150,000. There are 47,000 people from Fiji living in America. There are over 140,000 Comoro people in the U.S. There are 240,000 people in America with Samoan descent. Canada has only 120 Samoan-born people living in the entire country. That means there are 2,000 times more Samoans living in the United States than Canada. The list goes on forever. I seriously challenge you to find any country with this large of a population of so many different people. I haven't even included the entirely unique groups of people, such as Ileños, who are Spanish-speaking people from the Canary Islands, who came to Louisiana and married with French, Acadian, Creole, Filipinos, and others. All walks of life have settled in America at some point in time. On top of the ethnic diversity in the United States, there is an extreme geographic diversity. It is the most climatically diverse country in the world. This also causes culture diversity as well. Think about how many different ways of life you can lead in America. You can be a surfer in California or Hawaii. You can live in the desert of Nevada or Arizona. You can be an alligator hunter in Louisiana and Florida. You can hunt grizzly bears in Alaska. Someone living in their thousand-foot skyscraper in Manhattan has an entirely different life from someone who wrangles cattle in Texas. In the same country, you can ride sled dogs through the snow and go see flamingos and swim in 85-degree water in Florida. You can go see coral reefs in American Samoa, or you can go ice fishing in Wisconsin. There are people to this day in America who still receive their mail by donkey. We have volcanoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, heat waves, frozen tundras, among everything else. Towns nestled in the mountains of Appalachia have a distinct culture among them, where many people eat acorns, vinegar pie, mice, beaver tails, and opossum. There are places in Iowa and Nebraska that have cornfields as far as the eye can see. Go to California or Texas and experience the large Mexican influence in the culture and cuisine. Go to places like Maine or Michigan and experience the Canadian and French influence on the cities there. In Miami, you can experience a blend of every Hispanic and Latino culture, especially in Little Havana, where hundreds of thousands of Cubans reside. America is an amazing place for many reasons, but I believe its best attribute is how so many different people can call this place home. This video may seem like I am just tooting the horn for America, and while that may be true, the world is full of amazing places and people. It is important for people to realize how truly unique America is, and while there are many problems here, we have a lot to be proud of. Thanks for watching.